Hey folks, so today we have something I bought on a whiskey ferry last week on the bottle market in Bremen and I just I just couldn't uh, resist so that's the one it's from the Clady side distillery and that is the package nice and straight and that is the whiskey All right, so before we start, um, as always, a few facts to the distillery. The distillery was founded in 2017 by Tom Morrison with his son Andrew in the harbor of Glasgow. So we have a lowland distillery. Um, the distillery facilities were built in the pump house where customs and taxes were used to be uh, monitored. And here's a fun fact, the pump house was originally built by the um, great grandfather from Tim Morrison, namely John Morrison. Uh, I'm not sure if he knew that or not, or if it's like more a coincidence or something like that. But yeah, I, I was like, oh, I read it and was like, oh, cool, that's 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 uh, somehow that's great. Um, on the 19th of December in 2017, the first barrel was filled with the new make, and um, we got Alistair McDonald as the saloon manager. That is not a coincidence. It's uh, he was the former chief of engineer of Time. Um, Morrison Bowmore. So let's head over to the facts of the whiskey. Stub Cross is the name of it and that uh, is named after a historic crossroad that once marked the way to Dumbarton Rock. Nowadays it's uh, the site of Queen's Rock which is the Glasgow Dock and there the, the Clady Side Distillery has also been incorporated. We have unpeated malt from regional barley. The water comes from Loch Catherine Catherine, we have a long fermentation time with 72 hours. It's a double distillation in copper stills. We have ex bourbon and ex sherry cars. It comes with 46% of ABV. It's not colored and non chill filtered. And another fact, we have a unusually high cut point and also a very short cut point. That's quite interesting. So, but now I'm really curious about the whiskey itself, as I'm always when I try a younger whiskey um, from for or the first whiskey from a distillery. So let's check this out. All right, we do have floral notes. It's almost like a bit like it's perfumed or something like that, but not unpleasant. Then it's quite fresh, although um, I'm missing the typical citrus notes um, that I always or that I. Um, got when I have a lowland so that's pretty interesting you have vanilla notes like caramel notes and that's pretty cool I also have like tropical notes kind of a mango <laughs> that's cool and I also got peaches Ooh, so the nose is very promising and let's check this out slancha guys Mm. That's a very nice mouthfeel, creamy, oily. You don't recognize the alcohol neither in the nose nor in the um, um, taste. You also now have, luckily, just a hint of the floral notes left. That's quite good. Um, but it's so fruity. I got peaches and pears. Um, the mango, yeah, I recognize it, but just in a decent way. Light vanilla notes and what's pretty cool, you have white pepper, but that's good because the peppery spiciness um, makes sure that the whiskey is not boring. So that's a pretty cool thing. The finish could be longer for sure. So, but um, it's fruity again. So we got the fruit nose from start to the end. Um, it becomes dry and you also recognize um, the tannins. So more wood notes. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, definitely I, I would have wished that it would be longer. But uh, all in all, thumbs up from my side. Um, we bought it for 45 euros. So if you get it for 45, uh, then go for it. It's definitely a whiskey you should try if you want to. It's an easy sipper one you can drink, but, also, but it also offers you um, something or you can take your time with though. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I like it. <laughs> and that leads me to the question, what about you? Do you know that one? Do you know the new distillery? And uh, did you already try that one? And what's your favorite lowland whiskey? Just write me a comment and I say till Friday. Bye guys.